Mom here. We're making our way onto the playa to meet some friends for some fun. There's an event happening. This is Bliss Dancer, a 40-foot art installation created for the 2008 Burning Man. This is how I had originally heard of Burning Man. Ever since I saw the Bliss Dancer, I was curious about attending this event. Burning Man has received up to 70,000 visitors. This year, it did not happen. <laughs> or did it? Speaking of human ingenuity, those who wanted this event to happen came out anyway. I do not claim to know how they did it, but the organizers came up with a map that dictated where people could have their camps in a somewhat orderly fashion. It worked really well. We were included in the event this year by longtime burners Pete and Ash. Friends from motorcycle riding, they knew that we were taking our Grand Canyon trip and suggested that we stop in and participate. Pete and Ash have an art card called Chairman of the Board, spelled B-O-R-E-D. It is hardly boring. It is a giant chair that they roll around on the playa to different events. Witnessing the preparation and creativity that goes into this event is inspiring. This year was a mix of new people, a lot of new people, and a lot of burners. Burner is the name that they give to the veterans who know what's going on. It was fun to be with a group of people who knew what was going on and could take us to the inside and outside of all the different parts of Burning Man. In a typical year, there are also many art installations, which a lot of burners were saying they missed this year. But we didn't know any different. And it was such fun. Great music, great costumes, and lots of art cars. Creativity and ingenuity, real manpower, lots of friendships, old and new. People were ready and willing to meet and make friends at sunrise. <laughs> One of the events that our camp liked to participate in were the Robohart DJ sets. Talk about human ingenuity. You could hear the music perfectly, but still be able to carry on a conversation with the person next to you. This Robo Heart wall of speakers was specifically designed for the playa. This was an art car, and it drove around on the playa playing at different places. This was particularly fun for me because I love to dance and I got to dance for hours on the top of the chair. I felt like a bliss dancer right up front of the DJ booth. Dreams do come true. A dry lake bed, though a great place for a party, isn't an easy place to live and after four nights we were ready to head out. David had done some mechanicals on the bike, a new shifter lever and a new chain and we were headed on the Jungo Road to Winnemucca to start the rest of our trip. With not much access to real food on the playa, David took me to Winnemucca to a place called The Griddle for a delicious home-cooked meal. Here we are, man to the griddle. The man to the griddle. <laughs> And now our journey through Nevada 
on dirt roads truly begins. Wide open spaces. More to come. Skim them out.